Welcome to W News Sports. Joshua will face Oleksandr Yusik in an attempt to reclaim the WBO, WBA, Super, and IBF heavyweight championships he lost to the Ukrainian last September in London. Before we continue please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more sports news, please tell us in the comment section where you are listening from so that we can give you a shout out. Today's shout out goes to Dlamini Matlala in South Africa. He calls the rematch the biggest of his 26-fight professional career and says, I've got to take this one the most seriously. If Joshua wins, he will rightfully reap the advantages of silenced critics, demonstrating his credentials as a great heavyweight and paving the way for an all-British super fight with Tyson Fury. While there is no shame in losing back-to-back -back fights against someone of Usyk's caliber, a loss will force Joshua to start again. Eddie Hearn, his promoter, has stated that AJ will not retire but may never compete for another world championship. Defeating Usyk isn't a must-win for Joshua's career, but it is for his legacy. When he fell against Usyk at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Joshua, 32, was overwhelmed, outpointed, and far from exceptional. Joshua hired American trainer Robert Garcia to replace Rob McCracken earlier this year. Garcia previously held the super featherweight title. As a trainer, he has trained 14 world champions, including Marcos Maidana, Brandon Rios, Nanito Donaire, and his younger brother Mikey Garcia. This is the biggest fight I've ever been in, he adds. Joshua was trained by McCracken both as an amateur and as a professional. Is it feasible for a new coach to make adjustments to a fighter's game in as little as three months? A lot of the time, it takes a number of camps and bouts for improvements to happen, British trainer Dave Coldwell explains. I'm not sure how they got along, but AJ is a student. He appears to drill and work really hard to improve himself all the time. He is constantly working on something. So they've got plenty of time to practice and adjust. The boxing community chastised Joshua for being gun-shy against Usyk. The powerful combination puncher who knocked out his first 20 opponents had vanished. Instead, we witnessed a hesitant competitor attempt to outbox probably the sport's finest technical boxer. It was almost as if AJ didn't want to throw the jab or the right hand until he was confident he was going to land it, Coldwell adds. I just thought it's so strange, AJ stepped off him so much and let use space, says former 2 weight world champion Carl Frampton. Joshua claims that he wishes to recreate himself. Throughout fight week in Jeddah, he exhibited attention and composure through his demeanor, body language, and matter-of-fact comments. I'm going to listen to my side, Joshua declares. I've been listening to them for the last eight months of training. It's all about instinct now. I have to go in there and desire it for myself. Thank you for listening.